and here we are now we're going to install the new turbo back into this Nissan X-Trail so you can see everything's gutted there's all the parts over there and here's the new turbo she's here look you can actually check there's literally no movement in that whatsoever This isn't a brand new turbo, this is a reconditioned one. And I'm actually trying to move the wheel inside. So nothing's moving. So I'll be go through it step by step and see how to install it again. Now the first thing you're going to do is see this lad here. Do not, do not forget this washer. The most important part is do not forget that because if you do it'll leak and it'll have to come back out so you've been duly warned do not forget this washer okay so we put that washer on here this washer will go on here like that and there's one at the set for our side over here on the turbo over here that'll go there another one will go there so we'll, we'll put them a few bits on and we'll go from there There it is all in now. Make sure you tighten them three nuts. And make sure any nuts you just put on a tie, especially this pipe that goes down. You see this pipe here? That goes down underneath. I think the 10 mil nuts, make sure they're very tight. There's the oil feed. Make sure they're very tight. Or you'll have a leak and it'll all have to come out again. So the next stage is put on your your water pipe they are 12 mil bolts and this little fella in here is very hard to clean it's a little ratchet but that size this is hard to get in through there see that you need a small bit of movement in it and the rest you can use a bigger ratchet if you want them ones and them ones next day I just put on your your washer there for your exhaust manifold I left the nut there so this all hangs here so it doesn't fall on you and there's the manifold there now we've got these on here here and here so I was saying washer earlier on I meant to say gaskets so your gasket there your gasket there and then just bolt it all up together that's the next step so the manifold is on so when you tighten these since it's cast iron you go from left to right like keep going around and go around in a circle all the way around because you'll, you'll break the cast or you can go from right to left doesn't make a difference just go around in a circle so you want to split the cast next is install your radiator <coughs> so this is camp hose here and the camp hose down there see down there and don't forget your connections for the fans one and two and this hose up on top and the radio just slides down into it it's no hardship in it next day I just put this on you see this sits there and then we put this on don't get your gaskets no, just like that where it just fell down and that goes on there like that don't get your gasket when it just fell down so next you put on this little bracket here you put on your air hoses your pressure hoses um, what else do you do yeah that goes down 
into the actual air dispeller here and you can you probably can't see there's writing there it tells you which is which so if you get confused you know which is which or take a picture beforehand you know which is which um that's it just tighten this and then the intercooler will be on next So next, I just installed this uh, the intercooler um, for balls, one, two, three, and four. Just tightened all these up, and then just the head piece over here. And we'll connect this as well, where we're here. Let's go around the car and make sure everything is connected. Or you'll just have to, sorry, there. You just have to make sure everything's connected. So that's that's going up there. One, two, three. And you can see there's going over there. That's it. And we put on the top. Now you can see that the top piece is on. So our next step is make sure I have all the fluids. So I have practically as you might be see no water in there or coolant sorry in there. I already checked the dipstick there a second ago. You can see it there now. There's a bit in it. Well, this is what we're going to be changed now. So, what I got for changing is coolant, coolant, oil, engine flush, and an oil filter. So, what we do now is we'll start the engine, put in the, this, uh, engine flush give it about I think it's uh, hold on just a sec blah 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 Jackson's uh, uh, run for five minutes and just take all the oil out of the engine and then pour in the new oil and the new coolant and change your filter after you take out the flush or the oil change okay and that's it for, for now as you can see you can sort of see the fluid down there that took five liters to fill so it was a complete drain down i drained every bit of all fluid out and i topped up a new fluid so next will be put in the engine flush uh heat the engine up and empty in the flush change the oil filter and put in new oil